There have been some requests for some examples of audio rate modulation of Just Friends, so I'm going to do a little informal wiggling here to uh, demonstrate some audio rate modulation of uh, ramp, curve, and in tone. Right now my setup here is just, uh, I'm monitoring the first two outs and running them through O-Tool for some visual feedback. Uh, otherwise, that's just currently going out straight. And I'm going to start with Curve, which I'm going to run a uh, sine wave into from a straightforward oscillator. This is currently at very low frequency. Um, I'll turn it up a bit. the frequency of that sine wave so my general observation is that you get industrial machine type noises when you're when you're modulating curve at audio rates I bring that down very low to uh, low frequency then we start to get more into stuttery sorts of effects of which sound quite good. It does matter, of course, what kind of signal you're putting in. Like if I switch to, say, a saw, the character will be a little different, or even more so if I use a square. Here again, I'm adjusting the frequency of the modulating sound source. This is the square wave that we're listening to here going into the Just Friends. Okay, so let's switch over to ramp gone back to a sine wave. This is at a pretty high frequency that I'm modulating it with. Turn that up. Now, generally, audio rate modulation of ramp produces fairly high pass, fuzzy sorts of effects. down to very low frequency. in mind I'm only using two outputs. I mean we got six here. And for that matter, we just unplug this and go into the mix output. Now we're getting all of them.
There's tremendous variation available here. Bringing the frequency up. get the idea. So let's just go back to what we had here. And look at modulating in tone. Now you can already modulate in tone using FM and uh, this dial here to turn up in tone modulation. So there's some similarity there. Oops, wrong one. There we go. So let's see here. This is at very low frequency. frequency switch over to a square wave very fast modulation. I'm just going to lower it. Switch back to a sign. So now I'll just bring in a sequence. So this is just a Turing machine sequence and I'm going into the one volt per octave of just friends to start with here. This is by itself. Let's bring this down into a more reasonable range. So modulating in tone again. I'm bringing up the modulation frequency. Switch to ramp. high frequency modulation. And I'll turn that way down now. frequency. usual 
the sort of frequency modulation, um, the pitch of the modulating frequency tends to have a pretty big effect. So I'm going to pull the uh, sequence and I'm going to actually stick it into the modulating oscillator instead. So now the sequence is in the modulation carrier. just for kicks. I'm now uh, running this through a VCA with an envelope. Let's uh, put this back in here. (laughs) 